Hello everyone, my name is Dana from Red Skin Nails and in today's video, I'll be explaining to you all about BioCU Gel Sculpting Gel System and showing you how to do a sculpting gel extension with sculpting forms. With proper prep and application, you can achieve 2 plus weeks of wear. The BSU Sculpting Gel System can be used together for many purposes. 1. Strengthening natural nails 2. Fortifying artificial tip extensions 3. Create sculpting forms extensions the Big 5 Free Vitamin Mineral Formula will help promote natural nail growth and refrain from dehydrating, weakening, or staining natural nails. Here are some advantages of the BSG Sculpting Gel System. Self-leveling consistency, no primers or bonders required, no heat spike on Builder X formulas, no discoloration, no shrinking or wrinkling, no air dry time, cures in LED, UV lamp, flexible and does not crack, soak off removal, and 30 plus application per jar. Before we dive into the application how-to process, I will go over the seven different types of sculpting gels from ESG. An important note here is to mention is depending on the nail company or brand you are using, most of the time the word sculpting gel and builder gel may be used interchangeably. At BSG, we indicate our entire sculpting gel system as one whole line. Within the sculpting gel system, you'll find three particular products. One, base sculpting gel, two, builder sculpting gel, and three, top sculpting gel. Each one of these three sections offer a different purpose of use. The base sculpting gel purpose is to provide a smooth and even foundation of the nails. The base sculpting gel is available in clear and sheer rose pink color. The builder sculpting gel is a star product for strengthening overlays or building out extensions. Within the builder gel line, we have a total of four variants. Clear Builder Gel, Pink Builder Gel, and also Extra Strength Formula in Clear Builder X and Pink Builder X. And lastly, the Top Sculpting Gel is the final layer which is the stronger version of our gel polish top coats. This product will help protect and prolong the wear of your gel nail. Now in order to use these products successfully, you can mix and match them as needed depending on your level of strength, which I will explain while we dive into the application how-to steps. To achieve a successful sculpting gel extension set of nails, the following bio CV gel products required are Choice of BSG Base Gel Polish Choice of BSG Builder Gel Choice of Top Gel Polish Professional Sculpting Gel Brush 70% Alcohol Lint Free Wipes Nail File and Buffer Sculpting Forms U-Lite Pro 6 Mani Kit And lastly, Optional Color Gel Polish Step 1 now that you have all of this knowledge about the BSG sculpting gel system, let's get started on the tutorial. Before you start any gel application, the most important step is prep. One of the biggest benefits of BSG products is that you do not need to use a primer or bonder. We recommend to give the nail a light buff and cleanse with 70% alcohol to remove any oils and dust. Step 2. Base coat. Step 2 is to apply your choice of base gel. As mentioned previously, you can choose your choice of BSG base depending on the strength you require. If your nails or your client's nails are already strong and have an even foundation, you can opt to use any BSG base gel polish. However, if you feel like your nails or your client's nails are very weak and brittle, uneven, have ridges and so forth, it may need some extra TLC which is when we would recommend to go with the BSG Sculpting Base Gel. I will be using the BSG Upgraded Stronger Base 1 as my nails are in great shape and don't feel like they need any extra strength. Apply the base gel polish in a thin, even layer and then cure in your Uline Pro 6 for 30 seconds. There are no primers, bonders, or heavy sanding required on your natural nails. As always, we recommend to double cure your time if you're using a non-BSG lamp. Step 3. Forms After you cure your base coat, you can apply your sculpting forms. Keep in mind, regardless which BSG base you use, there will always be a tacky and a beige layer. This is completely normal and this layer must remain sticky as it is to ensure the next layer of product adhere properly. With my sculpting form, I will remove the back extra circle where it helps to support my form like so. Take your time to adjust your form as needed. 
Pro tip, if your nails are more narrow, you can always take a pair of the mini scissors, such as mine, from the BSG Mani Kit. You can trim a slit where the size of the form can help create a custom nail fit per each nail as needed. Once you have adjusted your form correctly, you are able to pinch the form underneath into a comb. Be sure to press with a lot of pressure to ensure the sculpting form sticker is nice and tight and won't budge. Step 4. Builder Gel Building out your future length. After you have your form on successfully, you are ready to start playing with your BSG Builder Gel and build out your future length. Before you start building out your nails, we need to check which builder gel you want to use. Essentially, the rule of thumb is short nails equals builder gel, long nails equals builder X gel. The X stands for extra strength. Keep in mind as well, the difference between builder and builder X is the strength, but also the consistency. Builder gel is more runnier and builder X is thicker with a consistency similar to cold honey. I will use the builder gel because I'm going to build out a medium length extension. Once you have decided which builder gel is right for you to use, you will take your professional gel brush number 4 from BSG and dip it into the builder gel jar in one smooth motion. You can use a scooping motion to avoid creating air bubbles. Your goal here is to get a small medium sized bead. Pro tip! You do not want to swirl the builder gel excessively as this can create unwanted air bubbles. Once you have your gel on your brush, you can lightly tap onto the sculpting gel form, drag and drop the length and shape you are going for. Be sure to connect some of the gel to the free edge of your natural nail as well. Try not to put too much pressure onto the gel as you want to keep a thick layer and also build out the apex on the nail. Where the meeting point of the natural nail and the feature link, and this is also the bending point of the nail which happens to be the weakest area. If needed, you can always go back to your builder gel jar and get some more. You can lightly tap and apply where it's needed. Take a look at how self-leveling BSG Builder is. It's so satisfying to watch it smooth evenly. Pro tip, before curing, you can turn your hand upside down and allow gravity to give the nail a natural apex and C-curve. Once you're ready, you can cure into the Ulite Pro 6 for 2 minutes. Step 5. Strengthening the entire nail. Step 5 is to strengthen your entire nail from the top of the cuticle from the natural nail down to the very tip of the nail. Be sure to check out your future link for step 4. If needed, you can always build up this section one more time to ensure each of the area of your future link is even and strong enough. If it is, then you are ready to apply a layer of builder gel over your entire nail to create a strong nail overall. Again, here you have the choice to pick which builder gel you want to use. For tutorial sake, I will show you the Builder X so you can see the consistency on camera. Use the same scoop motion as before to avoid air bubbles and you want to go in in one direction while picking up the gel onto your gel brush. From here, you lightly brush the gel where you want it to go. I like to start from one side and then do the other side, leaving the middle swipe to be the last one so that the Builder Gel has a chance to naturally get thicker in the middle for maximum strength and to create proper nail structure for long-lasting wear. You can use the same little trick here and turn over to allow gravity to pull the gel onto the middle of the nail. Once everything looks great, you can go ahead and cure again for 2 minutes. Step 6. Remove form, blend, and shape. Remove sculpting form and gently wipe around the area of the entire nail with 70% alcohol. Wow, look at that! My nails are so beautiful! From here, I will use my nail file and buffer to fix up the nail shape. Also, I will sand and blend the surface of my nail to smooth it out, ensuring the nail is ready for a gel color and or top. Step 7. Color gel and or top. Once you have taken the time to file and buff your nails, it should look quite natural. You are now ready to move on to your desired gel color or top coat. In this video, I will keep my nails all natural and finish up with a top coat. With the sculpting gel system, you can again choose which BSG top gel you need. If the nails are not too long or naturally weak, you can stick with the gel polish top coat. However, if the nails are very long or naturally weaker, you can opt to use the sculpting gel top. I will use the sculpting gel top today to show you how it looks and feels. Take your 
gel brush and apply a thin layer of the sculpting gel top. No need to cap the free edge as the BSG products do not shrink back. Once finished, you cure a final two minutes in your Ulite Pro 6. Once your hand is out of the lamp, be sure to cleanse the nail with 70% alcohol as the sculpting gel top does have a tacky inhibition layer. And here's our final look! We hope you enjoy learning all about BSG Sculpting Gel and watching how to create the BSG Sculpting Gel extension. Thank you for watching! Make sure to follow me, Rice K Nails, and Bile Gel for new monthly videos. See you next time! Bye BSG Squad!